Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be doing the new product on the basketball line. That is Panini Contenders 2022-23. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of contenders really in any form or fashion. So basketball nonetheless. Uh, this year there is a new format to the way it goes. There are just uh, four packs per box. It used to be you know, 12 or more and you got tons of base. There's just eight cards per pack now. Still the same two autographs. Uh, looking for any of these guys on the front, obviously. Uh, a lot of on-card autos, some cool vet autos. Uh, here's some what you can get on the back as well if you want to pause a second and read that. Uh, ultra rare license uh, and permit to dominate inserts. And then um, OptiChrome uh, premium edition autographs as well. So, uh, it is, like I said, it is a new format this year, uh, which I was watching few videos of earlier today and uh really like how they've done that really like i said uh eliminating the base cards because uh unless you're putting a set together which is you know few and far between guys uh these days you're just not uh really caring a whole lot about the base so all right there's our four packs two by two and let's get after it contenders all right, so I thought showing the hit. If we can even do that. Uh, so the base card, as I was saying, looks sort of like if you've opened uh, Downer's Choice this year. Uh, I got that uh, foil look. I don't know what you want to call those things, but there you go. Back, kind of like Contenders Football, pretty much the exact same. Go from back here. I don't know, we got two things here. We have two autos in one pack. Here's a Jalen Duran variation. Detroit Pistons. This is a rookie ticket. Uh, so I believe these are hard to come by or not very often. Maybe they're one per box too. I don't know. But there's our guy Jalen Duran variation. Maybe we get some ink of him right here. That'd be cool. I already gave it away, I think. Uh, Sadiq Bay. And that is Keldon Johnson. And it is uh, Sideways. Uh, oh, a Ushmane Dang lottery ticket. And then a superstar of Jason Tatum who's going to show us. It is of Jaden Hardy. Playoff ticket auto. The Tatum is not numbered. A 78 or, yeah, 78 of 99 for Jaden Hardy for the Mavericks. This one also a variation auto as well. Auto of uh, variation playoff ticket auto to 99 Jaden Hardy. Who really got some good minutes lately for the uh, Dallas Mavericks. I actually got to see him play a couple weeks ago. Alright. So there's pack number one. Mellow Ball. Uh, Bog, uh, Bohan Bogdanovich. Here's a numbered card. This is Clay, the 249. Nice lottery ticket of Paolo. There's the back of that one. Put that up there. A Dwight Howard ticket to the hall. That's an interesting case study, but I think he's a Hall of Famer probably. Uh, Joel Embiid, Devin Booker, and then Anthony Simons. So it'd be something if it were an auto per pack, but then this product would be even more expensive. All right. Might have our hit here. Uh, Luca. Fred Van Fleet. Rookie of the Year. Shade and Sharp. We do have our hit here. So I'm going to put that aside. And then here's our other pack here. Uh, Zach Levine. Tobias Harris. A cat to 199, or no, I'm sorry, not cat. Ready to go, bear, geez. 299, Kevin Love, ticket to the hall. This is cool. Uh, sweet shots to Mar DeRozan. That's a cool looking card. Not numbered. Uh, Franz Wagner, Ben Simmons, and Jalen Green. All right, so on the back, the last pack, Kawhi, Christian Wood, 
Shane Sharpie saw, take to the hall. Vince Carter. Sweet shots of LaMelo. He's gonna show us this guy. Tyrese Martin to 49. Another variation. So we got two variation on card autos. Plus the Jalen Duran. This one to 49. Tyrese. Uh don't know a lot about where he is or where he's from. So if you guys know much about Tyrese, let me know. But uh yeah, 14 to 49. Both on card autos. And then the uh Jalen Duran, which I'm just looking up to to see how rare these are. I uh, wish we would have got ink of him for the PC, but that's cool nonetheless. And a couple number cards as well. And the Palo lottery ticket. I think that was a solid box. I can't complain at all. So um, definitely this is not that expensive this year compared to how it's been in the past. So definitely going to look into probably getting a second box here. Um, maybe in the coming days. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you again next time.